Well, speak. <coughs> Good boy. Come on, man. We cheated. All right, it's done. All I'm gonna do to it. Uh, so I put variable power in it. I put a diode across here. Uh, redone the power wires in it. Uh, it'll be in the video. Uh, redone the power wires in it. I think that's 16 gauge power. Wire. And uh, put a cap 2200 plus a new 1000. Put a new cap right here. Uh, put uh, just a TIP 120 for the variable. This is uh, a uh, 47 uh, cap, 47 microfarad cap. Uh, I know I say a lot of odds, but sorry. Put new heat sink compound behind that. New heat sink compound behind that. Uh, new heat sink compound behind this. A little up underneath that where it didn't need it, but put it on there anyways. And took the tuning slug out of it. Or the not the, the slug still in it, barely been moved. Whatever, took VR4 out of it. Now this is, this is going to another place. Uh, this is going to a buddy of mine. He's going to look at it and see what he thinks about it. But we're kind of uh, sharing information on radios. I'm going to do what I've done to it, and it's going to go back to him and see what it looks like on his equipment. I've had it on the oscilloscope here, but other than that, that's it. But, uh, yeah. This is going to 577s. He's going to look it over. So, here's what it's doing here. Damn it. That's a 50 watt slug. 50 watt. And this is in the PEP. So full deflection, reading that middle scale, full deflection is 50 watts. Oh, hello. So, around about 35 or so. And let's go to RMS, turn the peak kit off. And then it's 50 watt slug, reading the middle scale. Oh, so right at 10. This is stock final. Just to remove removed a few things, put a few things in there. Uh, tuning slug still in it. I'll show you in a few minutes. But that's RMS. That's about 10 watts. This is peak. Oh. It's around 38, 39 at the key. Automo. Verb power wide open right there. About seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 
No, no, nothing. Hold it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Break, break, break. One, two, three, four. This is hearing it on the other radio. Still doing about the same thing. Still doing about the same thing. Audio, one, one, one. Audio, one, 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 one. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So, yeah. Pretty much the whole radio in frame. Uh, the recap. Tuna slug is still in it. Tuna slug is still in it. Uh, variable power was put on it. Stock final. If I can get this down in here. Stock final. And this is not clipped. I'll probably get a little bit more on that if I put a 22 puff there. Might try that on a little bit. I don't know. Really, ain't a need to try it. Uh, added that iron right here for protection. So if I hook it up backwards. <coughs> which is going to be here on the table. Uh, the Delta tune was took out of it and I just soldered it right there to that pot. Uh, that I used right around a, right around a thousand ohms. I don't know. One, 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 one. Hold. Hello. All right. Let's see. I retuned it over here. By uh, my oscilloscope, just got the flat top and all that out of it. Uh, there it is. Took that slot that uh, VR one hundred four out of. I mean VR four. Hell, you're going to end up turning it wide open anyways. 
I mean, you can put it in aisle, still does about the same thing. But I don't know. But uh, the lemon is still in there. Ain't clipped or nothing, still in there. There it is. Still in there. I might do some work for a friend of mine who's coming over here right now. I gotta sort of some coax. It's alright, we'll catch you later. Later.